Hi, this is Eric Brown from Game Geek. I'm here with Nick Little from Indie Boards and Cards. And today we are getting a look at Crossed Words. Already the title tells you a little bit about what's going on or gives you some hint. Nick, hope you can give us an overview of what we're doing. Are we crossing yeah. the words ourselves? Are we untangling words that are already crossed? What is the, the words of aren't necessarily crossed, but uh, okay. as you can, if you take a longer look at the cover of the box, there's a Venn diagram. So you can see that you're looking for within the categories on the left and right, where those things cross and overlap in the middle is where you're going to find your answers. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, this so as you set up the game, um, in the upper left-hand corner of the board there, you'll see it says starts with C. So that's the first thing you do is you draw a card from the starts with category and you put it right there. If you, first thing you do is take the insert out of the box. But when you're setting up for the game, you draw that start, starts with card. And it has those half circles, those colored half circles along the top and side. Those tell you how to seed the other categories for the round. So okay. what you'll do, do is draw the corresponding color cards from the other three decks, miscellaneous, things, dot, 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 and proper nouns. And then you'll have set up your three by three grid. And this is a, it's a real time game. So everyone has these nine colored, these nine discs that associate with their color and their marker. And what you're going to do is in secret, you're going to come up with an answer for one of those intersections. So. For example, the first category, the first spot in the upper left hand, it says starts with C, and then the vertical uh, category is things you plug in. So you'd be looking for items that start with C, and there are things you plug in. So you could put like a coffee maker, right? Okay. Um, and then you can move on to the next word where it says starts with C, and your answer must be five letters long. So now you're only trying to think of uh, something that starts with C and is five letters long. Could literally be Comic. any word. So you could put. Yeah, comma. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, you have starts with C and then websites on the top right there. So you come up with a website that starts with C, CNN, let's say, dot com. Um, and then you can move on to, you can do these in any order you want. You don't have to start in the upper left. You can start at the bottom, et cetera. But you'll go through and you'll try to put in answers for all nine of your discs. Now, you can answer each cross section of categories more than once. So if you're like, oh, I just can't think of a writer's name that also has a website in it, then, uh, <laughs> then you're just like, I'm not even going to worry about that one. Let's go to a different category and put another answer in there. So an important rule in the game, that you as plug in? you can tell from, the box cover is so obviously some of these are like really hard to find the perfect answer that is both but yes. on the box cover if you want to put that back on camera again it shows the two categories are heroes and then animals so the answer that we've put on the box cover is robin hood so the full answer covers one of the categories robin hood is a hero to some uh, and then robin a robin is an animal so as long as your full answer covers one of the categories and then part of your answer covers the other category, hmm. you're good to go. Okay. So it, you have to think about these inter interesting cross sections of words. Like I had one time I had things made of metal and then uh, things with tails. And you're like trying to think of these metal animals or whatever. But an interesting question, an interesting answer here is like pennies. Because Pennies oh, have tails, yes. heads and tails, right? Ideal. So it asks you to be a little clever. Now, the way that the, the game is actually scored um, is once somebody has put all nine of their discs down, they count to five crossed words, one crossed words, two crossed words, three crossed words, four crossed words, five crossed words, and then the round ends. Nobody can put any more answers. And then <clears throat> what someone will do, whoever the leader is or whoever wants to, will grab all of the discs out of one of the areas and then they will read the answers aloud. And if there are any duplicate answers, those answers will get thrown out. And then of the remaining answers, you can um, you can score that area once. So if you put in three discs and they were all legal answers, then you only get one disc for that area set aside in the okay. score pile. So you can put a but bunch in to help you... fully knock out other people um, right. or just to make sure you get that answer. And also to end the round earlier, if you just can't think of good answers for anything else. Um, 
if there are any that are ever close where you're like, I don't understand why you put this, is that really something you throw away? You know what I mean? Then you can state your case and the, the table will vote thumbs up or thumbs down with the majority uh, getting the correct answer. This is not like you go to Wikipedia and start like trying to figure out if this is a legal answer or anything. It, right. it comes down to the spirit of the game and, you know, having fun, et cetera, um, with a, with a vote there. Um, you, the person after you, so you go through every single one of the cross sections of the categories. Um, and then whoever has the most discs in the scoring pile will score three points. And the way they do that is they just grab three of the category cards to track their points. Whoever gets second gets two category cards. Whoever gets third gets one. Okay. And then you right. seed for the next round and uh, the winner is the first person gets seven points. Okay. So the player count two to six. It is three to six. It's pretty hard to play two players with a game like this. So it's three to six. Hmm. I was going to say we should have Lincoln and Nikki give it a go. Even, <laughs> even with two players, possibly not working ideally, but we can see how it works. And uh, I wish there was a third set of hands there. We could have the audience chime in with different answers as well. Or you could yell oh, at that's true. yourself. Yes. I'm going to do that. Except that would stop them doing things. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want, we can do this. Uh, okay. I'll take Nikki, you take Lincoln, and we can tell them what to do. <laughs> okay. While they are also <laughs> trying to answer at the same time. Okay. Are we going to use these categories, or do you want to reseed the categories? Uh, we, we should put out new categories just to start to start from so scratch. Great. So this is assuming, of course, that Lincoln and Nikki are both there and able to do that. We are both here, us. but I need to. You can to... borrow your hands. Give Lincoln a quick, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln was off site here. He was setting up board games. <laughs> Hold on a That's second. Right. It's a constant, constant challenge. I don't know how I'm going to tell Lincoln my answer without you hearing it. Oh, well, I guess this would be a little different for online play if we're making up rules here for how to do things on the fly at home, right. essentially it's yeah. it's dibs. You call out an answer first and no one else can put that answer. Otherwise- So we're not like, gonna no, have Nick any gets... overlapping Yeah, answers. Nick gets no points at okay. all. We do, we just stuff them on all the answers. Whatever you say, I'm gonna okay. say that too. And, and just burn the house down. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem like a, a valid strategy there. Let's, uh, let's reseed the categories then. Or, Another way, uh, Steph's suggesting something through Slack here where we can write down an answer and just say, put in a token and then we'll write down our answer at okay. home and reveal it later. Yeah, just number the discs one through nine and then I'll put, yes. and I'll say, put one here. Thank you, Steph. That works, that's a smart solution. As soon as I can find a piece of paper. So the boxes going left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And we'll, we'll write things down. Okay. All right. All right. Are we ready? Sure. Here, I'll, so I'll, I'll be for them, purple, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. okay. Let me be red. Red and purple. Nick will okay. be red. I'll be purple. There we go. Should I continue the bunny theme today? So are we feeling definitely. They're gonna write it down on a piece of paper, oh, okay. and then we're gonna compare. I'll are just we, throw are the we ready? And then we'll tell you. I think so. Yep. Okay. You hate. Yeah. You love to go. hate. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> With a Y. Put, put no, that's one separate. in the top middle. middle. Okay, you're red, right? A top red middle. One, red one in two. Yeah. Oh, top middle. Tots, top middle. Yeah. Well, you can put one there too. What? Nick's played before. Yeah. I think. Oops. Get a, a purple in seven. Red in the bottom left. Oh yeah, bottom yeah, left, yeah, thank sorry. you. Bottom left. Red over the bottom left. 
Yep. What, We're using lots of colors. I don't know where purple was. Where was purple? Uh, seven. Uh, bottom left. Okay. I thought you put one there. I did, and then I picked it up, and then I put it back. All right. It'll be a mystery. We'll see. Red in the bottom right. Uh, red in the top right. That's top left. Hmm. Uh, purple and bottom right. Nick, I don't think we're giving him any time to write. <laughs> not yeah, the time. totally. Bottom, bottom uh, right. Whatever. Red in the middle right. Red in the middle, middle right? right? Down one. Down one. Yeah, middle. Yeah. Uh, do purple in the upper left. Red in the middle left. Spot four. Middle left. There you go. And then a purple on top of that. You should draw for a while here since you've got nothing done. Oh, I don't know. We're not drawing, though. I mean, you fill out stuff. I'm, you've got nothing done. No, I put a couple in. It's okay. Do you have to use up all of your tiles? Somebody needs to use up all their tiles. Yeah. Okay. I only have two left. Uh, red in the upper left. Oh, I'm trying to get all of them. That and then I was bottom, purple on the upper, middle upper left. Is a tough one. Hmm. We do a purple in the top row middle and purple in upper left. You can put more than one answer in a thing. That's neat. Yep. Yeah, yeah you can throw All in right. lots, although you'll score red in one the... point when you do that. Yep. Red in the bottom right. One crossed okay. words, two crossed words, three crossed words, four crossed words, five crossed words. Okay, that's it. Okay. All right, so somebody pick up the pile in the top left, and we'll read them out. Ha! <laughs> okay, YouTube. <laughs> and then Purple Fish. Uh, Yoo-hoo, the chocolate drink. And red cat. I have yucky food. <laughs> and purple <laughs> that's again. That's a categories answer. Purple again. Uh, I'll admit that's sketchy. If you want to vote me up on that one, I'll take the zero on yucky food. Ah, hey, whatever. Okay. All right. And then we go here. Yep. Cat. I put Y-Wing. Y-Wing, okay. <laughs> and right. yard arm. Fancy. Yard arm and... Yo-Yo. All right. <laughs> Some Star Tropics action up in here with the Yo-Yo. Okay. Yo That's right. Battle here of the we Planets, go. actually. That's what and I'm there saying. was only the cat in this one. Okay. I have you, that Netflix show about the stalker guy, you. All right. Okay. Oh, that's new to me. Sure. And then we go back right. to here? Yep. Okay. Dun dun dun. We have Game of Thrones. <laughs> 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 and the cat. I have Riverdale, so in the same vein. 
<laughs> and uh, purple. I went Fish. a bit more realistic. Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's a Game of Thrones character anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Middle is the cat again, red. I have the atomic bomb. Okay. And then mm. guns, and then nunchu nunchucks? Nunchucks, yeah. <laughs> nunchucks. Someone's nunchucks. got a problem with nunchucks? Yeah, you, <laughs> if you've ever tried to use them and you're not good, you sure hate them. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right, here you go. And this is you hate. T TV shows TV you hate. shows. Full, Full house. house. Kitty cat. I got I got friends. <laughs> and then vacation spots you love to hate. Oof, wish Bonacore was on for my answer. Hawaii and Kitty Cat. Florida. Florida. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Better than Hawaii. All right. Yeah. And then weapon vacation spots. Someone actually got curious one. about this. Diamond head. You throw the person. It's a vacation spot. You throw them into the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's an elaborate, elaborate trap there. <laughs> it is a vacation spot. You got to get there to do it. Vacation spot. TV shows. Cat. I got CSI Miami. <laughs> Fish. Hawaii Five O. Mm -hmm. ah, I have that one as my second one. Gilligan's oh. Island. All right. So the islands are vacation spots. Um, so you also had uh, cat. It had Hawaii Five O and then Hawaii Five O. Okay. Hawaii Five O. So oh. that would cancel out the other fish. Okay. I had only one on on nine. I actually, had I had written Florida as well for seven on the vacation spot you love to hate. So uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you, you can mark mine out. Yeah. Then I just got put in the wrong one. That that's Here. what we had the question about before. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So now you would total them up and see who had the most discs here. Okay. There are three, four, six red. Oh, seven red, because I put that up there. Oh, yeah. The oh, and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turtle uh, snails. All right. Were there were two of those snails in the same category? No, I never had okay. any in multiple categories. Okay. Four fish. I didn't know that till the end, so there you go. <laughs> it gotcha. might have been easier. Two dogs. Two dogs. So seven and seven. Yes. So those, so we would each get three points for the seven and seven. Okay. Um, so we would take three cards each, and then the person who got third would take one card, one of the remaining deck cards. So you would okay. take three of the, you would take all six of the ones that were used, and then just draw okay. one off the top of the deck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's how you keep your score. And neat. How many rounds do you play? You play until somebody has seven points. It's almost always three rounds. Okay. Seems fair. Uh, and yeah. is the game out now? It, I believe it is available now, or will be, I think it's available in the next couple of weeks. So it's one okay. of these that we've had in the warehouse for a while, but because of COVID, we haven't released. So the actual release date, I think we're making it available in the next couple of weeks. So. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a lot of publishers go through that where you're not sure whether distributors weren't open, stores weren't open, did it even make right. sense to release a game? Yep. Yeah, and so now everything's coming out, uh, or starting to at yep. least. Okay. Uh, we got a few more minutes, Nick. I don't know if you want to talk about what else is coming from any boards and cards? Well, we have a bunch of stuff that's coming out in the next... Well, like I said, that we've received already. Um, the thing I'm most excited about is the next Aeon's End game will be out. Uh, it should be delivering to Kickstarter backers like beginning of September, and then should be in retail the end of September. If, you know, there is retail, et cetera. Uh, yes. But yeah, it's it's another uh, expedition mode. So it's like a four game campaign mm -hmm. um, and it picks up right where the last okay. story ended off. Um, Definitely. Also, the new Kodama game that we have, Kodama okay. Forest, is coming out. Um, I think it's the best of the Kodama games so far. It has that uh, it has that Tale of Two Cities style where you're like 
cooperating with the people on your left and right while also having to compete with what's going on on the other side of the table. But it does it and with the polyominoes or whatever it is where the it has the like the patchwork style tiles. So it's interesting because a lot of people have that issue where those sort of tiles, they don't recognize spatially what how well they work or how to fit them together uh, efficiently. But because you play with a partner uh, on each side, like you have people there to kind of help you figure out the best way to place things. So it, it feels less like you're just on your own trying to figure out how these things work spatially. So. Okay. We had a user in chat ask about a German version of crossed words. I don't believe you do any German versions yourself, but are there licensed versions in the works? We, there aren't yet. We don't typically get any license offers before the game comes out. So if the game comes out and it sells well, that's typically when we get people asking about licenses. So it's definitely something we would look into if somebody, you know, wanted to ask us, you know, approach us about it, but not currently there aren't any plans. Okay. Uh, anything else? Last minute. I believe there's a, a Ricky Tata game. We have uh, Profiteers that's going to be made, but it's currently being printed or it's about to be printed. So it's not, mm -hmm. it won't be here anytime real soon. Um, we have a couple other small games, Coldest Night, that I think has been brought up probably before. Um, looking at what else we have on the schedule. Uh, oh, we have this game called Magic Money that I think is really interesting. Uh, it's an auction game where you can spend any amount of money. There's no limit, um, but it's a but your bids are done in secret, and then whoever has spent the most money at the end of the game gets eliminated. Um, there's another game out there that's kind of similar to that, but the big difference here is that like the winning bid is shown, so you always have an idea as to like how close you were on your bid or how far off you were, and then you can kind of see how the game escalates. It also has this really cute theme where the things you're bidding on are these like magical animals, but they're kind of all kind of cutesy, like baby animals. Um, it's a really pretty game and the theme is like funny and the gameplay is actually funny in the same way as you watch these numbers escalate and get ridiculous. And yeah, it's a very fun game, cute little $20 game, so. All right, that seems to be a specialty for Andy Boards and Cards. You definitely hit yep. that price point there, a uh, small package, a lot of game inside. Thank you very yep. much for the overview of Crossed Words. Glad we got to play it in a modified form of so sorts online. It worked and, uh, well. We'll look, forward to this yeah. we'll look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Every game right now, you're trying to modify and see how can I play this at home <laughs> with people right. who are not at my home. <laughs> yep. So glad we found a way to make it work. Yeah. Awesome. All right, thank you very much for your time, and uh, we'll see yep. you at another show in the future. Cool, thanks for having me.